Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Memento Mori. So, things went rather poorly. We had to blow up an apartment because we got locked in it. We were going to suffocate. And uh, I did not get away in time with the taxi. So, that's probably going to come back and bite me in the ass later. Anyways, no sense in worrying about it, so we need to come up with a way to get out of town so we can investigate the uh, art the art broker. But uh Ah, Miss oh. Redlover. How many stolen paintings have you found today? Well, I'd say about as many as the bullets you fired today. Uh, I'm empty. That's two clicks. That makes it twenty four shots. Just another average day on duty here. What about you, Damien? It's the same with me, old pal. But uh, I keep one uh, bullet for myself, uh, just in case. You two will drive me up the wall one day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's like, he's like, yeah, 23. I keep one just in case, just in case today gets shitty enough for me to put a bullet in my head. Good Lord. All right, so at this point in the game, we need to go back to the office. And this is one of those weird things about this game where it's like, uh, like, even playing it now, even being able to kind of know what I'm doing to some degree. Uh oh. Svetlova. Why do you think I'm calling, Laura? Uh, I assume you're not calling just to talk to me? Gonna assume. Did something happen? Of course. On the table in front of me, I've got a report from the Portuguese priest, placing you at the site of the explosion. There was a dead man there, too. Do you want to tell me about it? What were you doing there, absent without leave? I had to resolve some family issues there. All my work was done before I went. I see. So you resolved family issues by going to Portugal. Somewhat strange, isn't it? Considering you're Russian. I've got a sister there. I do understand that I am at fault. I can't say I believe you. You know what I think about independent action, Laura. We are technicians and consultants here, not FBI cowboys. For now, I'll classify it as a misdemeanor. You'll get a written warning and your pay will be lowered for three months. And more importantly, I've got my eye on you now. Don't disappear again. I understand. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Goodbye. Yikes. All right. So there's the punishment Great. for uh, being stupid. Lady bank in Scotland. How on earth am I going to get there without anybody noticing me? My career at Interpol is taking a really wonderful turn. All because we didn't catch a taxi. That's unfortunate. I had it coming, though. I, I didn't get the uh, phone number before I left. That's my fault. Uh, uh. All right, read messages. Importance events. It looks like somebody from our department is going to Glasgow. That could help. I must write an email back to Charlotte to get further information. All right. Oh. All right, these are just uh, people that we never actually uh, looked up because there's no need to. Right, message. She said Charlotte. There we go. Lover. It's Janice from Tech Support. I just wanted to make sure you got your battery. Yes, I got it. It's a pity I couldn't have got it a month ago. Yes, yes. Uh, but the main thing is that we dealt with the problem. Everything's all right. You wouldn't really make an official complaint, would you? Not this time. I'll be generous and not completely throw you under the bus, even though I genuinely believe you have it coming. Seems I should check my email inbox. Yeah, seems like it. So to address the uh, the question some of you might be having is why this is taking me so much longer than it did back then. Where I was doing like hour long episodes and I got it done in like seven parts and here we are at like episode like seven or eight. Eh, I'm just not in a rush. I don't feel the need to rush this. I can just kind of have fun with it. Kind of make fun of it as I go. 
All right, let's see who's going. So Garnot is flying to Scotland. I must take advantage of that. I should call him on the office line. Sebastian. Ah, telephone extension number 548. You see, this is why you should look people up. All right, so five, four, eight. Lara, Sebastian, are you flying to Scotland with a statuette? Right. Well, I don't have to tell you, I'm not happy about it. Renee's been out on the maternity ward for just two days, and now I have to leave for three days. What does that cow want now? So you wouldn't mind if I fly instead of you? Are you joking? If you take it, I'll name my child after you. <laughs> Great. Thanks. I hope it's not a boy. Well, there you go. Now you have an excuse to not be in town. I would have done if Garnot had not already been scheduled to fly there. I swear I'm finished with this. Ostan Kovic has really gone too far this time. This last trip, and I'm done. Are you, though? Are we really? journey has just begun was it a good idea to not listen to max will you come back with the case closed or will lady bank become your grave if we ask the cop for edinburgh to meet Kian this morning it gives me the perfect opportunity to surprise both them and the thief as they close the deal on the stolen painting. To get inside the house unnoticed, I have to avoid being spotted by the security cameras. Why give them cause for suspicion if I can avoid it? All right. Let's also get the security camera, though. Can't see me here. No one would look any place so obvious. It's got Edward Kean written on it. The plate looks very thin and made out of ordinary metal. Kind of cheap. Doesn't fit for such a fancy place. Uh, what's this? Large pile of stones. What do these have to do with it? A uh, creeping plant? What's this? Uh, walk over here. There's no way I could move it. Oh, did I not get the creeping plant? There we go. All right, fantastic. We got we got some creeping plant. All right, so I guess we're supposed to use the creeping plant on the security camera. I mean, I guess they might not think much of it because, let's face it, even if the even if the camera saw me come here like to the gate that doesn't mean anything it doesn't mean i jumped the gate right so i guess i guess i could see how this works even though i think it's a little flimsy to assume that nobody would just think that you know oh hey this red-headed broad just walked up to the gate tied up the camera and called it a day Uh, this must have better not get too close. What's this? Says the gate. Where's this go? Oh, all right. So that just took me right back here. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter because, all right. So clearly coming here was a bad idea. A 
ghostly fog merges with the gray, threatening sky. Bitter cold bites into your bones. Only the icy rain is missing, but you can smell it coming. That's just a little creepy. Gutter pipe. This is interactable? Why is this interactable? Well, maybe I could fly. This isn't the way. The pipe wouldn't hold me. I've nearly ripped it out of the wall and one bracket already fell down on the ground. Well, might as well take the bracket. I mean, we're already here. Fuck it. Let's take it. Perhaps I could stick in one end of the bracket, but opening a lock is tricky work. Fair enough, fair enough, I understand. Well, let's take a look at the door. Locked. But the lock is a joke. I just need something to tease it open. Perhaps I could stick in one end of the bracket, but opening a lock is tricky work, and this wouldn't get me very far. Ah, okay. So I'm like partly right. So I'm not a hundred percent wrong, but I hadn't I, I had forgotten about an element that we uh couldn't pick up earlier, which is the giant flat stone. Good. It will make a nice solid map. Now I need something to hammer the bracket. A very large Oh, well, yeah, the, the stone we picked up. Unusual circumstances demand unusual solutions. Right, because we picked up the stone not that long ago. So, yeah, that would make perfect sense to use that. Uh, wait, no, shit. No, don't, 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 don't go back. Shit. Is my, st is my shit still there? It better still be there. It better not have, like, just spawned or some bullshit. Ah, oh, fantastic, it did. Okay. A few primitive. So we get what a couple of primitive lock picks. All right, fair enough. Dark. Let me see. The uh. It's working. Done. See, it really works. Ah, oh, nice. Fantastic. I won't get inside through here. This room is stuffed with junk. A couple of things could prove useful, though. Oh, well, that's taken care of. Better not get too close to the main entrance. Not even a there is a slightly open window get up there. I've just lost my way in there are no lights in the house ah uh, okay I hadn't considered the middle plate apparently that's not I gotta mess with that's a little weird though uh what is it? It's 
got Edward Sheehan written on it. The plate looks very thin and made out of ordinary metal. The plate is screwed on. Not sure why you'd want to take it off, but fair enough. Well, it's the sort of solution a job would come up with, but the end justifies the means. Bitch, I have no idea why you're even taking this. Like, even I think this is entirely stupid. But fair enough, game. Fair enough. You're going to have me vandalize this poor man's house for reasons beyond me. Because I still haven't fucking figured it out. Supposed to be a oh, this window. I didn't see there were windows down there. I shouldn't attract attention to myself. What if I try to free the window latch? Maybe I could get something through the gap. Absolutely. Let's try this. And the way is open now. Well, I guess we got our way in now. Fuck it. Yeah, sad to say, sometimes this game isn't always very clear what's around you. I knew the window. I knew there was a window. Just where the window is is beyond me. A shelf with cans of paint and other junk. And What's this? The only thing that I could use. All right, let's take the cloth then. Fuck it. All right, try out the switch box. Messing with electricity distribution. Bitch, we got shit to do. Why should I make so much effort? A switch box. Should I hit this with the stone? Why should I make? Bitch, because you're supposed to. That's your job. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. That could help me get to the window. All right. So now we can leave. It's useless. It won't move one bit. If I want to turn the Yeah, where is the switch? I have not seen it. Oh, there it is. And God said, let there be light. I guess. With a light, it must. Ah, they're connected to the light. I should find the distribution box. I could do something with it. Ah, right. All right. So, despite me knowing the distribution box was necessary for something, a switch box. 
The cover is locked with a special key, and I don't have it. So once again, I have to force a locked door open. But I hope I won't find some explosives again. Yeah, let's hope for the best. Hmm. The cover isn't a perfect fit. There's a gap there. Damn. Someone's ringing the bell at the outside gate. Nobody inside seems to be responding. I should take this opportunity to see what's going on. All right, I guess we got to go see what's going on. Not exactly getting good vibes about this shit. This, this seems like a terrible idea. I mean, never mind the fact that I've already been caught once. Although I can't imagine that what me getting caught one time is going to affect the story that badly. I mean, yeah, sure, she's going to take a little bit of a pay hit, but... She's Interpol. I'm sure she makes lots of money anyways. What's a little bit of a pay hit anyways? I've got the feeling something interesting could be in it. And parcels do get lost from time to time. Especially if they are left outside the gate like that. Damn it. The sender's address looks familiar. What would Theodore Morgan send to Tian? He's definitely one of the bad guys. He solves his business problems in the nastiest of ways. Last time he left behind a demolished summer house. No evidence. And Tian, what have you got to do with Morgan? Did you get in his way? Fantastic. All right. Well, now I'm partly curious. I should be careful. An ordinary parcel at first. Great. Ah, oh, goodness. Oh my god, this is going to go so badly. Ugh, oh, alright. The envelope is really suspicious. I, I can feel a small box, but it's hard to tell what it actually is. There's an oblong. It's something small and hard. There's a small. It feels like plasticine. But something tells me that Tian is too old to play with pl I think I know how it's put together. This should work. I hope. Well, I'm happy you're confident about it. I certainly aren't. I mean, not. Oh my god. Bitch, what'd you think it was? It was a bomb. You knew it. I Shit. I can breathe more easily now. The bomb has been defused. Oh, the bomb was diffused by when you, um, if you undid the flap, uh, the, oh, the top, upper flap, it would pull the, uh, the cables, then it would explode. Oh, shit, that's actually really fucking clever. Holy shit. The bomb is still active. Searching. I'm not an expert. It's an explosive. A dangerous one. Lethal. Not something you play around with. The bomb is still active. Searching the things around it could have nasty consequences. Okay. Now, really... Carefully. Fantastic. We got ourselves some fucking wire. Uh... I can breathe more easily. What's in oh, this? It should be harmless now. I hope. Yeah, what's with the metal box? I'm it's not clearly... Sure I want to keep... Why even include this if the dude who opens this is going to get this face fucking blown off? This letter came with the explosive. If it survived the explosion, the person who opened the consignment would be in no state to read it. 
dear Edward, you must undoubtedly be glad your servants open mail for you, isn't it so? Although it's almost impossible, well, it's almost an impossible task to find a good servant these days. In any case, you can see how easy it is to get hurt these days, especially if your business is dangerous. Take that recent event in Milan. You succeeded, but I, but I, but I'm sure you know it interfered with my interest there. Next time, try not to take what belongs to me. It'll definitely benefit your health. P.S. I'm sure you'll manage to dispose of the joyful thing my parcel brought you today, won't you? The police are the police. The police is incredibly busy these days, and wouldn't be fair to burden them with trivialities. Well, even if they found time for you. I could use an opportunity to show them cer uh, certain quite interesting documents regarding your person. Ah, oh, blackmail. My favorite. My favorite. Okay. So these guys, these guys were going to blow, these guys were planning on one of his servants opening the letter, blowing their faces off, and then Tien was going to be like, hey, there's a package with this. Opening the package, you'd be like, oh shit, they planned this. I mean, not entirely unlikely. Just, you know, just seems a little ridiculous. I already... It's attached firmly. I can't open it by hand. Oh, of course you can't. As I expected, from time to time, a bit of brute force can't do any harm. This schematic seems too important. The diagram tells me there are two circuits here. One leads to the light, and the other powers the sealed door. According to the diagram, this wire has got something to do with the sealed door. According to the diagram, this wire has... I can't do much about it without... Uh. Turn off the current. The first rule of working with these things. Yeah, good idea. I can't do much. Okay. I better not cut any. I can't do much. Of okay. I see how this is supposed to go. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I only know because I have some of the answers, but still. And you. Well. Let's see what happens now. Hey. All right. Doors open. I would have just guessed on that puzzle anyways. It was never very clear how to solve that puzzle to begin with. All right. Oh, Lord, that must be Tian. Calm down, Lara. Keep your oh, food. fuck. Homeboys, done. I mean, I guess in the long run, it's not that big of a deal that we uh, went through his mail, right? I mean, the guy's already dead. I'm no pathologist, but I've seen stuff like this before. Let's have a look. No signs of rigor mortis. So death occurred within the last three hours. Grayish skin turning slightly violet. The body temperature is consistent with recent death. How dare you come here trying to sell something that is not yours? Who do you think you are? I'm 
I'd say he died half an hour to an hour ago. The cause of death, massive loss of blood through the severed throat artery. The blow is clean and straight. Either he didn't expect the attack, or it came so fast he couldn't defend himself. I really don't like this at all, but I have to find out what has happened here. Nevertheless, this is a crime scene, and I must be careful not to leave any traces. Yeah, uh, let's, uh, let's be sure we do that, shall we? So, I can see the PDA, which we're probably going to have to mess with. So, let's grab the PDA with the cloth so we don't leave our fingerprints on it. Let me introduce you. Ah, Maestro Diaz is examining your goods. Hmm. If everything is all right, we'll be able to close the deal. Hmm. There is one very interesting email here. About someone arriving with a painting and Diaz is going to authenticate it. Hmm. Tian had no clue of the seller's real identity. Looks like he'll never find out. Uh, we really shouldn't be keeping that. The PDA is absolutely clean, without a trace of my presence. Fantastic. So put the PDA back on the this desk. This is quite an important thing. I shouldn't hinder the investigation by removing it. Thank you. Uh, DVD. The DVD thing, right? If we want to look at the screen. These are outputs of the security cameras. One of them is less mobile. A garage. Corridor. Wait, an injured man. I have to help him. It's switched off now. But who knows what it has recorded. It looks like the output of the security cameras is stored here. However, someone's taken the recording. This won't help the police much. On the other hand, they won't see me sneaking into the house either. I'm sure I left no trace but Good. I can't see any controls here. An ordinary desk. I suppose Tian has a mahogany one somewhere up there. Alright. So, looks like we've searched this area just fine. She did mention uh, someone who was no injured, thanks. so we might want to look at Mostly that. Valueless. Fantastic. So, he's dead. It's not wise to tamper with it. Yeah, really not the best idea. This magnifying glass is invaluable when examining small sections of a painting. Oh my god, that's the ass! Hold on, I'll get help. All our operators are busy. Please hold until we can deal with your call. Protectors in Astratus against Nero and the schemes of the Gero. Grab the our shield. Are busy. Please the hold ass. until can we you can hear deal me? with your call. Damn it, nobody's answering the phone. The prince of the heavenly host, Satan and other wicked spirits that roam the world and ruin the souls. Diaz, listen to me. Who did this to you? Is he still here? The painting. It was as if something was looking out of it into me. There was something. I told you. The painting is cursed. Diablo, it's genuine. It is cursed. Mustn't buy it. Let the young man take it. The tattoo on the neck. The one who painted it. It has the same tattoo. Devil's head. How dare you come here trying to sell something that is not yours? Who do you think you are? You're a disgrace to the whole order. Others will finish the rest. 
had mercy. I didn't see anything. Of course you saw everything. Your destiny has been chosen. Have pity on me. I didn't see anything. I won't tell anybody. I haven't seen anything. I swear. Ah. Jesus. Blinded himself. I Good him God. Me, but he said... He said he was coming for me. <laughs> then I saw something. I shouldn't. <laughs> Dad, pull yourself together. Who was it? Where is he? But I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. I, it's the eyes. I don't have eyes. So he must leave me alone in the end. He must leave me alone. Oh my God, Diaz, did you blind yourself? And who are you afraid of? Shh, shh. He's coming. Run! Oh. That can't be true. It's all one long nightmare. Uh... Well... All right, let's get the hell out of here. Shit, homeboy blinded himself. We didn't. We wiped everything down. I'm not going back there. It's time. Yeah, no, we we didn't leave any prints. Positive. You couldn't wipe down the body, and as far as I can tell, we couldn't wipe, uh, we wiped down the PDA, so there shouldn't be anything else with our prints on them as far as I'm aware. Yes? Have you got the painting? Ostankovich, Tihan, is dead. So is Diaz. Moreover, he blinded himself before his death. Contact the British police and tell them everything. I'm done with it. I never want to hear about this again. There was no mention of death when you got me into this. Fine, fine. Just calm down. What happened? Do you have the painting? That damn painting again. There were no paintings. Can't you see what's going on here? Mara, pull yourself together. You're a police officer, so act like one. Tell me what happened. Then I'll... The chief tried to sell the painting to Tian. Tian hired Diaz to test the authenticity. The three of them met at Tian's residence. Some men blasted their way in, slit Tian's throat, took the painting and dragged the thief away. Diaz blinded himself, and he died after I found him. He must have suffered internal injuries during the fight. Besides Diaz, did anybody else see him? Did you leave any traces of him? I don't think so, but I'm done here. I refuse to play your game anymore. You can threaten me all you want, but I quit. People are dead here, Ostankovich. What the hell do you take me for, Lara? Do you think I am going to step over dead bodies just to preserve my reputation? Go back to Leon and forget what you saw. I'll take care of the rest. And Mac? Right now, he's probably running around Petersburg chasing hooded phantoms. I'll stop him. Barely sure I didn't get caught. How could it have happened? Did something disturb him? Or did you scare him somehow? Who do you think I am? Okay, I apologize. It's just too much for me. Everything I touch goes wrong somehow. Maybe you should leave. I don't like what's happening all around. It was just fate, Max. Nothing more. People die. You can't do anything about it. Accept it and forget about this. But sometimes things can be prevented. When people aren't cowards. So it comes back to that. The same old story. You could have drowned. Sometimes it works out and help comes in time and sometimes it doesn't. Get over it. Hold on, Andre. What are you talking about? That day on the lake. I didn't wait for help. I saved you by myself. 
Don't get so discouraged, Max. You've been really brave. It doesn't matter that it wasn't you who pulled your brother out of the water. The important thing is that you didn't lose your head and ran to the village for help. My thoughts are a bit puzzled. I probably need a break. This damn case is to blame for all of this. Then go to Lara's aunt. You'll have a rest and you'll get the notes from the librarian later. Uh, no. No, this won't wait. I'm going back there and get the notes. They're too important to leave them lying around. Just wait here a moment. I won't need much time. As you like. Oh, librarian's notes. There they are. Now, let's see what the librarian figured out. I hope there are some answers. What could it be? A part of a world? But of which world? Where should I look? Perhaps Vadilos. Yes, I could find something there. Menvabkar? There. Yes. Nab it. <laughs> that could be it. No. <laughs> Capgrave, the 15th century? Where can I find some more details? Capgrave can't be the only source on this. How is it possible that no other book <laughs> mentions such a thing? Tattooed monks worshipping death and just one reference? Of <laughs> this is the precise list <laughs> of what any person has to avoid if they want to die <laughs> a good death. It says literally. You are only one of many. Thus, go together with thy fellow man, for hope and determination for belief and destiny. Today, tomorrow, forever. Then you will find redemption. <laughs> 